you're not going to tell me, are you? <laughs> Cindy, how are you? I remember talking to you, I think, recently, sending you some stuff. Yes, very much so. Any of it <laughs> of any value? I mean, you know, it, it's all hit and miss. We never know. Uh, but the important thing, I think, is that you're doing something, you know, because that leads to something else uh, and things like that. But my knee is still, I thought it was done about like Monday or so. And so I, on Tuesday, I took a walk for about two miles and that was stupid. You know, leave it to a guy. I got me nine months of utilities and maybe rent until the end of the year. Wow, Cindy, wonderful. Can you uh, put something in the, uh, uh, in the discussions that you got it? Okay, Cindy, that would be nice. Because this, this, I think, inspires people more than anything. You know, not me, some idiot in Washington telling you what to do. I mean, that, oh, you're in Prince William County. I know that, Timmy. <laughs> so, well, oh, I see, that's PWC. Gotcha. <laughs> okay, well, that's not far. Yeah, that's nice. Um, and nine months. Where, where do you live, uh, Cindy? Where'd you get that? Cindy, woohoo! <laughs> I guess that means good. <laughs> That's wonderful. Uh, but where, uh, where, where do you live? Sure, sure. Oh, I sure you're going to put it in. That's great. Uh, but I guess it's a local stuff. I mean, see, there's so much stuff, you know, local grant money that they haven't given out yet. And I mean, I, I'm, I'm guessing on all this stuff all the time. It's just that, you know, I guess because I've been studying it for 40 <laughs> years or more and spent most of my waking hours in life just trying to figure this stuff out and and get as many people. Tulsa! Oh, what? Oh, Tracy, where you been? Where you been? <laughs> Tracy, how's the hockey boy doing? <laughs> Wow, nice to see you, Trey. Uh, um, wow, Tracy, Tracy. How's real estate out there? I mean, real estate is pretty good here in, in D.C., I know now. Oh, uh, yes, all local. So, Cindy, can you write a little, uh, you know, just a sentence or two, what you got in, in, uh, in the, description, uh, in the uh, discussions so people can see that? Orlando. Good afternoon. Yes, it is. Uh, Timmy, what classes should I take if I were to take advantage of a new legislation uh, from an entrepreneurial standpoint? I, uh, new legis what, legislation, I, I mean, they passed something new where you live, Timmy, that, that, that is going to pay for you to go to college? Uh, I mean, it, it, real estate is hot right now. Yeah, I, I would think. Um, People who have money anyway, because everything's a bargain. And here, it's uh, my son just bought a house in D.C. And, uh, yeah, they were, they were going crazy. I mean, people just overbidding. <laughs> you know, they're bidding above the price. Uh, real estate is not right. Yeah, Crystal. Wow, Crystal. Remember the picture, not the name. Wendy, this is the place. Replied. <laughs> Yes, <laughs> replying to Jesse. Oh, Jesse, I am new to all this. And the live video, are you talking about this one, Jesse? <laughs> Just me. <laughs> Barely alive. Man, you know, when you get, you know, it's so funny. I have this knee thing, you know, if you've <laughs> seen me. Oh, South Carolina. You know, Jesse, everybody tells me there's nothing ever in South Carolina. South Carolina just came up with new money for uh, entrepreneurs in South Carolina. It's grants for business in South Carolina. I just saw it on my uh, uh, no, the, uh, news alert. Everybody should put a news alert. And whether it's for national or whatever, just could keep up what's going on because you're interested in money and don't only put it for grants or COVIDs and everything. I'm getting the point now, you never know. And so what you're looking for, yes, grants is certainly one you do. You want uh, loans because a lot of these loans are, are not paid back. Uh, and then you want things like relief. 
which is important because you're looking for relief. Uh, you want assistance because a lot of these things are like assistance. If you're a business oriented and not just paying your own bills, you want to use startup uh, and, and business or nonprofit. And remember, if you're a business but you have a nonprofit, I mean, if you're a nonprofit, you still look at all the business money that's out there, particularly in the COVID. A lot of it is for both. They'll say business, but when you get into it, it's also for nonprofit and for entrepreneurs at home and, you know, people like Tracy, who I think is, uh, uh, you know, runs her little consulting business at home. And, and that's usually under the business. Veronica from Tucson. <laughs> well, thank you for tuning in from Tucson. A Tucson tune-inner. Tuner, tu Atlanta, Dee Dee. I remember you, Dee Dee. <laughs> what you do, 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 doing, Dee Dee Dee? Uh, can you go over organizations for startup resources, funding, relief, assistance, help, incentives? Yes, that's the word. Actually, that's another word besides uh, incentives. I N C E N T I V E S. Okay. Anybody like that? Anybody has a? Uh, and you too, Tracy. Uh, uh, either an entrepreneur at home, uh, you have a business, a nonprofit. I'm, ju I'm just finishing, and there's some typos in there, so if you find a typo, let me know. <laughs> and uh, uh, a report by state. So I'll show you in your state. So you, you do a, 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 what do you call it? a discussion after you, you had enough of this stuff me live, you know, <laughs> tell me to shut up, and then go uh, come back and start a new discussion. Uh, and say what state you're in and you need the uh, money for business and nonprofits, okay? And I'll send you a report that just has that. And then it has, there, there's like seven or eight places, state and local, that you should check. I mean, this is what I'm trying to do is get this instead of, hey, here's this to do, here's that to do, here's that to do. See, it all, and that's a, the, the joy of, of doing this so long, I see patterns. And then I'm able to put things together. And now what I'm doing now is trying to put things together where, okay, if you want to do X, Y, and Z, here are the seven places to check that 90% of the time it's going to be, if they have any programs, it'll be in these seven places. So instead of, you know, you know Googling your ass in circles for 20 hours, you contact these seven places, see? And, and I have that uh, for... People need financial help. In other words, if you uh, need, if you're in financial trouble of any kind, you know, uh, there are seven places for that. <laughs> so the lucky seven. <laughs> and then there's seven places for starting a business. And then eventually I'll have that for real estate and things like that. So the seven places you want to talk, uh, 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 touch base with, you know, uh, to see they have it. And see, the best way to do that is not going online. Yes, you could go online, but only online to find out who the hell to contact. That's what you want to do. You want to go online and, and find out who you should talk to or how to get an appointment to talk to somebody at these seven places. Okay, Google is a black hole. Yes, Jesse, I see you're new. <laughs> uh, and, and yes, and that's what I'm trying to get people out of Googling. Uh, unless you know. In other words, if you know the North American Society of, uh, of Corporate Poopy Poops have, has a grant, well, then you could use Google to find the North American Society of, of Poopy Poops. Yeah, <laughs> and that's good. But if you're looking for a grant, <laughs> all you'll get is puke and vomit all over, you know, and it'll take you 30 hours. You know? My daughter and I are trying to buy a home. Could you send me? Yes, Wendy, uh, send me what city and state you're in. What I'll do, again, I'm going to show you the seven places to contact to get all the programs for buying a home where you live. You know? uh, uh, and, oh, somebody can't hear me somewhere, Veronica? Did you say? I don't know. Uh, so I'll send you that. And that will get you. And then, I, because I've done a lot of custom reports, before I started the club, I used to do a lot of uh, custom. So you'd call me up and say, I need a report for how to find all the uh, uh, real estate programs and Kokomo <laughs> or whatever. So I'd go out and put them all in a report for you. Then I'd send them a report. Now, I have a bunch of those around. So besides showing you how to find every program where you are, I'll send you a report. It may be a year old, as much as that or whatever. But they, a lot of this stuff doesn't change much. The new COVID does. But uh, other, like real estate, doesn't change much. Uh, so you can have that as a, 
um, a guidepost, and it'll save you a lot of time research, researching even the stuff I send. Because when I send you stuff, you still have to go through the process. You know? And this is what I want to talk about today, really. If you go and go over to units, do you see the units on the left? I don't know if it's now, now Facebook has has a new Facebook. <laughs> Facebook got a facelift, right? And so whether you're new or not. So there's something on both. Uh, usually I was using the old one a lot. Uh, now I, I'm trying, <laughs> an old man learning new tricks here with the new one. I, I'm not sure where the units is. Units is something that every group has to put in categories. I'll have a category, okay, here's on real estate. We have them like that, real estate or entrepreneuring. So we have a whole bunch of sources in those by categories. And that's in the units section, and that's in both. So you have to search around. If somebody knows where uh, the units is on the new format, uh, let me know, because I forget. Uh, and if I play with it and look for it, I'll screw this up and, <laughs> and be off the air. <laughs> we don't want to do that. Uh, and, and so under units, I have a category called testimonials. Now, this is getting very exciting to me because I, I, I'm in a dilemma like everybody else in who tries to sell something. When you're trying to sell something in this country, you have to get people's attention. Sort of like a teacher. I, I started as a professor. And I, and I used to be a, comp a professor of computer science, uh, and it was usually evening students at the local university that would be in school all day and going, I mean, going, uh, work all day and class at night. And in teaching, and this was back in the 70s, teaching computer science back in the 70s, man, <laughs> I, I found the first thing you had to do is keep these people awake. <laughs> That's where my outrageousness got, because I saw the more I could keep people awake, the more I could understand, okay? Uh, oh, you were granted weatherization. Oh, cool, Jesse. Uh, okay, any problem you have, Jesse, that I yeah, don't answer here or whatever, you start a discussion. See, in the discussion, you start a discussion. I answer every discussion that started because I, I want to learn what your needs are. Uh, I feel my value is in trying to understand what is in your mind and what your problems are. I know so much stuff. I just don't know the questions. And that's why I used to wear question mark suits because <laughs> the questions are more important. I, I know I get an answer to anything. Uh, it's the questions. So that's why, to me, it's a privilege when you ask me something because then that builds my uh, intellectual capacity to be able to help you and other people uh, without knowing you. In other words, just knowing a source and shoving it down your throat, you know, it's not going to work, you know. Uh, so like a professor has to understand how to make it fit What's in the mind? I mean, a politician does that. They're trying to figure out what you want them to say. <laughs> and then they say it and hope they get elected and you'll never remember what the hell they said. <laughs> and salesmen are like that. They're trying to get in your head what do you want. Uh, and I, I do that particularly with headlines. You know, what, what excites you about headlines to get you? I gotta get you in the door so I can teach you. Uh, about what may be there and what may be helpful because what's frustrating to me and I've been doing this so long is that so many people are in need and there's so many people that are helping people but, but putting it together is so complicated and the people who have it, particularly the people who have the help is the government and they're not marketing friendly, let's say. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and so I try to make that stuff human so people could see what it is. But I also have to know what your problems are more, what problems you're, you're uh, trying to overcome. Uh, and that's it. Now, the, what I want to get to is that the point of all this, that there's two ways that this will happen, it, 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 you know, that you get help. Is one, I give you a, a website, and you say, hey, this works, and I apply, and you get it or not get it. Now, that's going to be rare, you know. That happens, and they're the people I used to put on TV all the time and everything like that. Most of the time, it's not going to be that easy. It isn't. Life isn't that easy. You know, and that's what I'm trying to get through to people because if you believe it's that easy, to me what's going to happen is that I see what happens. You get pissed off if it doesn't happen that easy, and you give up. So 
I, I'm trying to see how do I do that? How do I keep you interested that there's a possibility? There's no guarantee. Nothing is guaranteed. I can't guarantee anybody will get the money. All I know is 150 million people do every year, and that's just from the U.S. Uh, but, you know, so I really guarantee everything is real, and, and they're there to solve problems like yours. Whether they solve it like you or they, they can help you or not, depends on you and them. And that's like dating to me. If, if, if I could show you, okay, here's seven guys, you know, The Bachelor. <laughs> or, or The Bachelorette, or I don't know what the hell it is. And, and, and here's seven guys who are looking for a date, you know. Now, whether there's chemistry there and it makes, you know, that, that's a long shot, right? Uh, so it's like that. But you know, if you don't try, you really lose. You may lose anyway, that's true. Uh, but I don't think life is about that. I think life is about trying and, and possibilities. You know, otherwise, you're going to lay in bed and die some sometime like we all are. You know, <laughs> there's no getting out of this thing alive. You know, now, what are you going to do in the meantime? You know, and, and the meantime is a struggle. I mean, it really, you know, I, I think life is... <laughs> A terrible struggle. Nothing goes right. I've written a hundred books and only ten made money. <laughs> so, and, and that's the case. I mean, how many idiots have you gone out with before you found somebody who's worthwhile? You know, uh, and, and uh, Cindy, laptop grants. Yeah, there's some of that stuff around. Let me show you that. So, anything that I don't answer here because I want to get over this uh, subject, I want to cover to make sure you know uh, is that. Do a discussion. Don't just put it in the Q&A from this. It'd be, it's safer to start a whole new discussion with your question because in the Q&A here, it, it's an answer to an answer to an answer to an answer. It gets lost sometimes. That's why you really want to get me. You start a brand new discussion. I look at every one of those, and uh, I'll answer them before 48 hours. And if, if not, then you start yelling at me. <laughs> And yell loudly. I'm an old guy. I could take it. <laughs> okay, so back in the, that, this thing may not be easy. And I think we all have to start learning new skills on how to do this research for anything in life. Because everybody thinks, and you've learned now it's not true, you go to Google and find anything and you apply and da 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 da. da. Okay, that does not happen. If it happens, it's lucky and it happens maybe a few times. But 90% of the time, ain't going to happen to you, okay? So how do you deal with this? Okay, I think there's two ways to do it. Is besides Google, is the telephone and contact. Now, here, here's what, uh, I just got these reviews just in the last couple of days. And, and if you see a, a lot of uh, testimonials, reviews like this. Here's a woman just found out today. That's what inspired me. I, I wanted to talk about this today. She said, she's Deborah Bracato. So she's a member. You can look her up here. Uh, she says, Mr. Lesko, you told us just apply. You have nothing to lose. And if they say no, just appeal it. You'll ne <laughs> you're never going to know unless you ask. Well, then she says, well, I did just that. And boy, am I a happy camper. I'm receiving the EDD benefits, and I'm still amazed. So thankful for your advice. See, this is the unemployment benefits. She was declined. She said no. Now, most of us will all go away. No. She followed the form, wrote out the form, and, and, and uh, <laughs> you know, uh, appealed it. That's a, Life is appeal. I mean, I, I've looked at so many appealing things, not in this COVID yet. i got to get into this. because it's. Uh, but most of the things, when the government says no and people appeal, a third of them get something. So a third of it, and it's just a game for showing up. You know, it's sort of, <laughs> it's sort of like showing up in traffic court. Every time I go to traffic court, you know, the people who show up in court get some kind of prize for showing up. You know, they get reduced <laughs> or whatever, just for being there. You didn't show up, you're going to have to pay a full ticket, right? <laughs> so it's rare that <laughs> the one time, a few times I've been in traffic court, that the people don't get some kind of little bonus for showing up in court. So this is the way they go. When you, and, and, and the same way with SBA, anybody in the government, you want to know how to set your, how to do an appeal. 
okay, and, and just follow that form. And if you look somewhere on the internet, there's probably a, a form because I've seen them on on, on uh, form letters for. Uh, uh, SBA grants, you know, to write an appeal uh, letter there, and, and how to do that. Uh, and, and but you know, the, go to the horse's mouth; they'll tell you. You could also see. Listen to this: samples of appeal letters are public information. Remember, everything in the government is public. <laughs> They own it, except in this administration. <laughs> we own it. We are the public. We own the government. So, uh, you know, you can see, you can ask, what does an appeal letter look like? they got to show it to you. If they don't, they may ask you to write a letter to get the letter, <laughs> and there may be an easier way to do that. Uh, but uh, I didn't go off, did I? I don't see my... <laughs> Uh, I guess I'm still there. Okay, uh, and, and and so there's, and another way, if you can't, if you figure out you don't know how to appeal, you call your elected official. Okay, and I've given this out a lot, but we have new members here, so uh, uh, common, common cause, and you want to find my representative and find my representative at Common Cause. You can put in your zip code and your everything and you'll get a listing of all the elected officials. So if it's a, like the, uh, um, you could start at the top. Two senators, a congressman, then you have a bunch of state people. So do it all. What do you got? Yeah, the same price. And actually now is such a good time. We have three more weeks for these people are gonna be wanting your vote. <laughs> Yeah, so they want to help you <laughs> because they want to win <laughs> and they need your vote. Because if they get that turned over, they help you get the grant, they help you get the money, they help you get it, you'll vote for that son of a bitch no matter what he does. Yeah, <laughs> that's just human nature. Yeah, this is why these people stay in business so long. <laughs> they spend 90% of their time helping people who vote for them. You're a voter the same way anybody else, so you ask for help too. And what's so great about their help is that they have different phone numbers to call. So the unemployment office, you and I have to call the front door, okay, in the front, <laughs> the public information. They have backdoor numbers to call and get their answers quickly. Why do they have the backdoor numbers? Because, see, it's the elected official who pays their salary. Not you and I just <laughs> give money to pay the salary. But the elected official votes on what their salary should be and what their budget should be and everything. So that's why the, 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 uh, uh, the government office is beholden to elected officials who control their salary. That's why if this is a state government office, it's probably better to do your state representative. If that isn't working, then go hire a congressman because they would know too. Uh, but, the, you know, who they have the leverage over these bureaucrats are the people who pay the money, okay? So that's, that's a letter. Now, here's another interesting letter I just got yesterday too. Uh, Kelly Terrier, okay, she's in Vermont. Here's what she says. And, and this is, see, the woman who said that, you know, appeal to doing things and doing that extra, it, it takes something more that you're not used to doing. You're not used to, oh, the government has a decision and that's it. No, the government's run like, from, <laughs> with idiots like you and I. <laughs> you <know? laughs> so it's, they're wrong. And it goes to another set of bureaucrats who look at something different. I mean, what amazes me, I don't know how, like the Supreme Court, okay, supposedly we have half and half uh, Democrats and Republicans. Okay. They both have different interpretations of the interpretation. Well, you know what I mean. <laughs> the laws are different to them. We have a constitution, and this side says this is right, and this side says this is wrong. They're reading the same stuff. Yeah, so same thing. So somebody, said, you sent an application in, say, no, this is wrong. Give it another chance. Somebody else said, oh no, that's right. <laughs> they do that in the constitution. <laughs> <laughs> so, so your little, you know, fifty thousand dollar grant or whatever—that's nothing. That's peanuts. Get somebody else to look at. It. Okay, here's what uh, Kelly says. Uh, are you, you are true to your word. She's talking to me. It is hard work, 
takes talking on the phone and takes time and patience. But in capital letters, she says, but it pays off. Okay, here, that's what you got to be in for. Okay, hard work takes talking on the phone, takes time and patience, but it pays off. <laughs> Not all the time, you never know. Okay, but that's the way to make it increase your chances of paying off is doing these things, okay? I've been able to get power, gas, food, and other essentials. I have a huge goal in mind. Many irons in the fire. Thanks again, Mr. Lesko, for that extra kickstart. <laughs> your, information, uh, your information and enthusiasm is, is infectious, uh, but you provide just the right medicine. Info. You have saved our lives and changed my family's lives forever. Holy shit. I mean, if something I know can change somebody else's lives, I should never sleep a second as far as I'm concerned. There's nothing else to, better to do than something like that, you know? And I think we all can, and that's why I'm trying to help. I hope the, these things that you find help you get to something you want to do and, and, and help people or, or, or give the most you have. I mean, we want to give more when we feel appreciated. Most of us don't feel appreciated when we're working <laughs> in these jobs, do we? So we can't wait to get home, can't wait to go on vacation, whatever. I can't wait to get up and maybe change somebody else's life. Holy shit, what a gift. You know, that's amazing. I mean, that's, it's irresponsible to give me that responsibility. <laughs> you don't know me well. <laughs> I can screw this up really bad. <laughs> Uh, uh, Neville, uh, Novell, uh, start a new discussion and tell me what you need. Uh, so that, that's the kind of thing that you know, hard work you know, takes talking on the phone, takes time and patience. And it, but all of life is that way. Man, you know, I wrote 100 books, they didn't fail. My first two businesses failed. They all fail. And that's what we have to do is plan for failure because that's going to happen more than success. Everybody plans for success. You go to seminars, tell you how to succeed and what to do with a million dollars. Who the hell cares? You've got to get the million dollars first. Then you worry about that. That's a nice problem to have. Don't worry about what you do with your money. <laughs> that's all right. Okay, here's the last one. This is interesting too. Uh, Andrea, uh, she's a member here. Thank you so much. And to share an update, last Thursday, I got an email back from one of the local charities I contacted saying my application was approved to pay one month back rent. Tomorrow, my husband and I will be going down to pick up the check. I can't begin to tell you how much more relieved I feel knowing that I can get help with this burden without going deeper into debt. And all I have to do is be persistent, organized, and willing to be vulnerable, okay? Persistent, organized, oh, patient, patient, <laughs> organized, and willing to be vulnerable. You know, um, I think my best advice to anyone applying for relief or a loan is to get super focused and have their papers organized. Cold calling <laughs> for cold calling, you know, that's it, you gotta call cold, you know, and ask for help. I'll sometimes use a script to be sure that I get to say everything I want I want to without wasting the representative's time. So you're organized. So when you call up, these are the things that I need help with. Uh, when you speak with people requesting funding or relief, you will be asked to provide an accounting of your expenses. I recommend putting this together in a list or on a spreadsheet. Ah, you can put it on toilet paper as long as you're organized. You know, that. You're calling up and say, well, I just need money, I'm drowning. Uh, you know, it's hard to help you. And it's hard to help you. I mean, I did a title on this earlier, but the way to get more money from the government is to yell at the bureaucrats. No, it's a people business. And remember, these bureaucrats are there to give out money, to help you or whatever. They don't get make a commission. Everybody on, on Google that you get to help you they're making a commission. They're making money. So they'll, they'll put up with your nonsense <laughs> because they want to get the money. <laughs> These people don't have to. They get some, pay the same paycheck no matter what happens. So, But you have an incredible resource, and that's you on your personality. 
So you, how nice you are and how human you are. And I, I don't believe it's, you know, she talks about being vulnerable. See, that's it. You want to be vulnerable, human. We want to help other humans. We don't want to help tight asses, no dolls, <laughs> stuffy people. <laughs> it's harder to help them, right? It's easier to help people polite, who are vulnerable, um, and, and are genuine, and not trying to be someone <laughs> they're not. And I think our whole society sort of wants you to be something you're not, because they want you to be like them for some reason. <laughs> you're not them! You're you! <laughs> That's, I couldn't get over it. I was taking all these courses for speaking and everything, and then I... I I realized, no, <laughs> you know, hold a lectern, do this, say that, and everything. No, you get up there, hold, pick your nose, do anything. People don't care. Basically, they get their attention. <laughs> yeah. uh, otherwise, they're going to sleep. Uh, and that's what we want to deal with humans and polite humans. So that's what you have to remember. And you're going to get your phone slammed down on you and all kinds of things. This is, as she said, it's cold calling. But this, what may be, you may not take all this, but most, more than likely it is. Getting it easily is a bonus, and that happens. And the problem is what I used to do is show only those people <laughs> who got it really easy, you know? and, and that encourages more sales. I, I'm not interested in sales because those people who think it's easy are going to get it less. And those people who, who know it's going to take effort are going to stay there long enough to help themselves. If you think it's easy, you know, to succeed, just do these seven things and you'll be a millionaire. That's bullshit. <laughs> you know? And you'll do four or five and, oh, God, this is so boring. You don't want to be a millionaire. You'll do seven of anything if you're doing the things you really want. And probably a millionaire is not that. <laughs> uh, I mean, I don't know everybody. Everybody lives differently. I can't tell how anybody should live their life. I don't even know what the hell to do my life, I guess, every day. Yeah. So that's why we just have to respect each other and what they're doing in life because they're trying, just like you are. I'm trying to do with my life what I think is right. You're trying to do with your life what you think is right. We all are. And that's why I think none of us have the right to criticize somebody else's life or what they're doing, unless they ask <laughs> and they want the truth. Okay. But otherwise, and particularly loved ones, you know, uh, my philosophy is a loved one is someone who helps you do whatever you want to do. <laughs> you don't know what the hell to do, right? So you want somebody who just, yeah, okay, you want to do that? Yeah, I'm a little crazy, but yeah, I'll help you do whatever, whatever it is. Yeah. And that's the only way we learn, that's the only way we grow. Someone trying to pour cold water on you, don't know, we don't know the future. Donald Trump will never become president. <laughs> yeah, that's what we said a year ago. <laughs> Look at this. <laughs> Uh, you can't. It, it, it's too hard. And particularly a loved one. You could, maybe some of you don't love, but I, you know, what, what bothers me, we, we probably treat our loved ones the worst. You know? We're nicer to strangers sometimes. Um, getting a little quiet here. <laughs> the crickets. <laughs> okay, let's see. Jesse, mother passed away in May and my family is drowning. My brother didn't uh, work because he helped me care for her and he was told find a job and then file again for unemployment, but he can't even find one. Uh, okay, make sure, Jesse, he's applying for the pandemic unemployment, not just the regular unemployment, because that's a little different. There are uh, two different things that, ooh, Novell start a, start a startup factory, $2,000. Did you get that, Crystal, or is that something you know about? Uh, can you put it uh, in the discussion? Because I'll write it up, let other people know about it. Uh, Oh, Vella Jackson, have you applied for the PPP loan? I don't know if there's any loan money for the PPP. Uh, there is money, I mean, for new loans. They, they're tr still trying to process the old ones. But there is for the EIDL, the emergency SBA money. I'm pretty sure there's still money for that. Are you talking to me, Crystal? Uh, I'm at Novella. <laughs> uh, Stardust Fact. Uh, are you talking to me? Because I saw it. I saw it yesterday online. Oh, uh, oh, I see. Okay, so Startup Factory, they have a $2,000 grant. Is that it, Chris? Oh, that's cool. Uh, uh, so, okay, who, who are uh, Jesse, uh, okay, send me a, a, a discussion. So I, 
pack up things for you and make sure I, you put in your state, what state you are in. Uh, Teresa Carlson about a PP loan. Have you applied for the PP loan? Yeah, I, I, I don't, for some reason, I don't think they have any more money at the PPP. They're gonna get more, uh, but I'm not sure they have any now, unless they dug up some and doing it. Uh, and I don't think they're doing any of the for, more forgiveness on the loan, but they're gonna have it soon if they ever get around to it, but it may take a month or two. Uh, unfortunately, but the EID loan, EIDL, is that it? Uh, the other SBA, and then also Teresa or Novella, uh, Novilia uh, Jackson, tell me what state you're in. I'll show you all the places to contact for your state. And it's a list about you know, the seven. So you contact A, B, C, D, all the way down, and tell them what you're trying to do. And when you call these people, even though you want money, and they probably know you do too, don't just say, I want money. Just say you're trying, you need help with your business, and you're trying to help start your business, and you want to know what they have available. You get them to talk about what they have. Everybody likes to talk about themselves. And if you tell them, I want a grant or something. They'll say they don't have grants. They have so many other things. They probably would be better that you don't even know. But no, you, you don't, you know, because you have something in your mind you think solves your problem, but the world is solving problems in different ways. And you have to learn those ways. So that's why you just say, hey, my objective is to start this business. You know, what's available to help me do that? Uh, I hadn't done any business for over a year. Don't qualify PPP loan. You know, the PPP, I'm not sure the PPP or the PPP, not E loans, or the bridge. I, I don't, don't guess if you're a qualified or not. Go to a place and apply. I'd be guessing, you'd be guessing, I'm not even sure if the PPP has, has money. So you just go, tell me your state, and I'll send you a list, and there'll be, you know, the, again, these seven offices you talk to, what do they have that could help your business? See what's there. If it's a loan, you just apply. <laughs> or you read it and see. Because you and I will guess or anybody else here listening will guess what it is and uh, may or may not be right. The only way, place you get a right answer from is the people giving out the money. Everybody else is guessing and it changes anyway. Uh, I don't see this on my PC like I do on my phone. I'm not. Yeah, uh, I guess, Jesse, you're talking about the format of Facebook. There's two different formats now. Uh, there's a new and an old. So, yeah, so that, that so. Tina, what are you doing up so late? <laughs> I am no way political, says Tina. Uh, I do not vote. Can I still get? Yeah, doesn't matter. You know, that's just information. No, don't ask, don't eliminate yourself, you know, from anything. Anything I give you, like, for the loan. Oh, I don't apply. How do you know? You don't even know till you try, you know? <laughs> <laughs> so you, you, we all have this pre, preconceived notion of what the world is. No, <laughs> just go and ask. They'll tell you if you're stupid. <laughs> I get told that all the time. <laughs> and a lot of times they're right. <laughs> Are you coming back, Dan? What do you mean coming back? I'm here. <laughs> I worked for four days and spoke to so many people, I lost count. Uh, uh, I got nine months into, oh, I see. Uh, yeah, so you're going to do something, uh, Cindy, on that. Okay, I need help back. Okay, no, Vialia, let me know. Do a discussion. Spoke with my senator's office yesterday. Apply uh, 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 on legal help from your reply on legal. Were they helpful at all, Emily? May or may not be. Then you have to keep looking. So come back and we'll, we'll try some other places. Uh, Okay, okay. Can somebody tell me is this still live? Yes, I'm live <laughs> from New York, from Washington. Okay, guys, I'm gonna pass. Uh, my time is up, and I thank you for yours. Some broadcaster used to say that. Okay, so on 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 the discussion. If you want a business and one of the starting places for business, if you want the starting places to get financial assistance or, or help you with financial problems, all the places in your state, uh, I'm doing state by state reports for that and anything. Yeah, you want, you need legal help, health care, all this kind of stuff. Just ask, okay? I do this for a living and love it. <laughs>